Hey guys, I'm Plimfly Woo, and welcome to another Division build video. And today we're going to talk about a really, really tasty PVE build, which is all about Blackout, because that is amongst us very shortly. Um, this is the build I recommend you guys to roll with, and you will have a, an immense amount of success with this build. And also, as my builds are, they're a hell of a lot of fun. What we're talking about, I'm talking about my six piece Lone Star classified double big L build. Uh, this is a PvE beast. It really, really is. But before we talk about the build, let's talk about Blackout, which comes on Monday. Um, Blackout, the, the modifier, is all about shock. Okay, so if you've not run Blackout before, what it basically does, uh, it shoots and builds up your charge meter. Okay, the more charge means more damage, that's more shock. That's, that's more time that you're going to be mobile from doing very, very little. Okay, so... There are three different modifiers. You've got the global mod modifier, you've got the activity modifier, which if you instantly kill enemies with overcharge melee attacks, which is really good. So you could put together a nice sexy D3 build, which would be really, really pretty cool. Um, or the group modifier, which charge meters will cool down faster when close to other group members. And this is a really, really nice uh, it's solo, it's it's group, everywhere you look, look look at this, I've built this primarily for a group scenario and it is super effective, it really really is. Okay, what we're talking about, we're talking about six piece Lone Star classified, double big L, uh, really tasty, so let's talk about Lone Star before we go on about the rest of the build and how we've got it set up. So set bonus two is 100% ammo capacity. 8% uh, LMG damage, 8% shotgun damage on set bonus 3. Set bonus 4 is Lone Star. When the weapon is holstered, it is instantly reloaded. Set bonus 5 is 50% ammo capacity, 12% LMG damage, and 12% shotgun damage. Uh, the set bonus 6 is Berserker. When a weapon has 50% of its magazine remaining in combat, there is a 75% chance to receive a bonus that activates when the final bullet is fired from the current magazine. Once activated, the magazine is instantly refilled, weapon damage and the fire rate is increased by 30%. The bonus is cancelled by reloading, swapping weapons or exiting combat. Bass Berserker, it is extremely tasty. You've probably seen my MG5 uh, PvP build on Lone Star. It is really, really good. Um, this has been switched around slightly and this, this is designed for PvE content. So... Have I got this stuff? Have I got this set up and built? So, the start with the chest piece uh, is rolled into firearms with skill, haste, health, ammo capacity. And the mods I'm rolling with are two electronics damage to elites. And again, as you see, I'm running purple mods, they are damage to elites. And again, it's all about that damage on yellow bar enemies. So, that's why I'm rolling with, with uh, damage to elites performance mods. Okay, the mask the mask is rolled into electronics with critical enchants, damage to elites. And the mod I'm rolling with again is electronics damage to elites. The knee pads, it is rolled into firearms with health, damage to elites as a minor, bleed resistance and disrupt resistance. And you look in electronics damage to elites and a 5% support station healing speed as the performance mod. Onto the holster, it is a critical chance as the, as the major and performance mod of support station healing speed. Glove wise, uh, it is rolled into firearms with LMG damage, critical hit damage, and critical hit chance. Finally, the backpack is rolled into stamina with health and ammo capacity. Mod wise, is it electronics damage to elite, so I'm a bit too quick for you. And support station healing speed times two. I've got a lot of ammo on there. Um, you don't necessarily need that ammo, but again, as it's PvE, it is what it is. You can deal with that. Weapons, big L. So the first weapon as prepared, great from a distance, uh, destructive, just to just absolutely dismantle the NPC's armor. And you've got cover shooter, which is every bullet fired at an enemy from cover increases weapon damage by 0.5% up to 50%. The bonus lasts for 10 seconds. Getting a kill with this weapon while in cover resets the duration. The bonus damage is cancelled by reloading, swapping weapons, or exiting combat. In terms of weapon attachments, first and foremost, the magazine is a high-velocity magazine. 
why am I rolling with that? Is I want Berserker to proc as often as possible. So if I attach a 120% magazine size on my Big L, I will have around about 120 uh, obviously bullets in, in, the, in, in the clip. And again, I have to go eat half of that to see if Berserker is going to proc for me. I have to eat 50% of the bullets to see if, if Berserker is going to go. Now, if you have a smaller magazine, so for example, I've got this 11.5% uh, magazine size, so I've got 61 bullets in my big L, and I, all I have to do is eat 30. So I get half that way, and then I know if Berserker's going to proc, and if, if he's not going to proc, I can just press Y on the, my Xbox Elite controller, and that will switch to my second big L. Pump out 30 bullets, and again, if I see if I get that little icon at the bottom of the screen that says Berserker is proc'd, Happy days, just keep firing. Simple as keep firing, and you will see that the weapon rate will go, go up by 30% and the extra weapon damage as well. So definitely roll with a high velocity magazine. That will get you the, the optimum from Lone Star. So make sure you roll with that. Okay. Now you have two attachments, the optics and the muzzle, all about crit hit damage and crit hit chance. I'm gonna headshot damage on the optics. My secondary big L is determined again to, to decrease. Um, my skill cooldowns get them back quicker. Ferocious again, that's about damage to yellow bar and uh, named enemies. And again, cover shooter and my magazine, as is with my primary, seven percent critted chance. Magazine size and critted damage because I want berserker to proc as often as possible. Optics are all about critted damage and critted chance. Okay, we can take a quick look at the character sheet. We'll do it on both weapons. On the primary, 27% critic chance, 82% critic damage, 112% headshot damage, and damage to elites 43%, very nice, 15% enemy arm damage, that's through destructive. Now if we look at my secondary, that's 24% critic chance, 83% critic damage, 100% headshot damage, damage to elites 53%, very tasty again, and there's no enemy armor da damage, so don't have destructive. Okay, so the abilities, I'm running a life support, and what that gives me, that gives me drop a revival station that automatically revives any allies who are down in the area. Again, you could roll with a support station being the immunizer, however, I've opted for the life support, and that's to, again to keep people alive, because people will die in blackout, you'll, you'll stay quite often, people get shot quite a bit. I like their life support, if they go down, they can get revived quite quickly. And because I've got a, a, a decent amount of skill power, 150k, that that life support station will stay down a little bit longer than, than a lot of others. So you've got 43 second lifetime. So that's why I've gone for the life support. That's that's my personal preference. Um, but again, you could roll with a support station immunizer, but I've opted for the life support. And secondly, I'm rolling with smart cover. And it's, you're using the recharger, and that again gets me a little bit of health back. Uh, it gets my skill cooldowns decreased, which is nice. I've got determines so that works hand in hand with that, but all, already gives me the extra 23.7% stability and accuracy, which is nice. LMGs are quite accurate anyway, but when Berserker procs, it's nice to be in smart cover because you get the extra, extra 23% uh, stability and accuracy, which make which means you can hit more often. So that's why I've gone for Berserk, uh, for the, the Recharger uh, Smart Cover. And again, it's a decent uh, tool for your teammates as well. Now, in terms of talents, I've opted to go the entire skill tree of security. And for me, it's something that, again, I thought this is a bit bizarre, but I'll give it a whirl, see if it works. And it does work. It does work quite well. So I've used Steady Hands. Again, get into cover. So you got the extra 25% from... Smart cover anyway, so you get an extra 25% as well from steady hands for 10 seconds. That's nice. You also get precision, which is 12.5% critical chance, 25% critical damage. Really, really strong. This is better than a pulse, and use this. And it's stopping power. Now, I rarely use this. In fact, I don't use this. Uh, trialed it recently, and it does work in PVE. Now, so press R style to increase headshot damage by 25% for 10 seconds. And it's all around being very savvy how you play with this and quite intuitive. So as soon as, again, because enemies are going to be in cover, they're going to pop up. And when they do pop up, if you suppress a hostile, 
you will get 10 seconds of a bonus 25% headshot damage against NPCs. So this in the right hands is highly effective. So this would be great on a sniper build as well, in all fairness, for PvE. But my LMG, this will give me that extra 25% uh, headshot damage, which is top tier. It really is. In this, in this kind of game, it is really, really good. Uh, one is none. Again, headshot hostile to have a 50% chance of not consuming the bullet. And it's all about more bullets, more damage. Simple as that. Um, a really, really great talent to use. So, a little bit weird, a little bit bizarre. Um, but I had a lot of fun on it. It's very viable. I've tested it in challenging missions and legendary missions, this build. Even I've got 4K stamina. And it... it does work it seriously does and it's super effective and the damage output that you can deal is exceptional it really really is so give this a whirl in a team see what you think in fact set it up before blackout try it in a team try it solo see what you think come back to me if you think the build is trashed then please say but trust me this is an extremely fun viable um and a build that works it really really does a great pve build um if you want to see more builds like this, then please drop a like and drop a comment. Let me know what you think. Um, but, but more importantly, please subscribe to the channel. There is a lot of Division content which is coming in the future. There's other other games I'm going to introduce to the channel as well. But Division is the heart and soul of what I do. So guys, take it easy and I'll see you soon in the DZ. Take care.